On Monday, March 15, 2021, prosecution led by Inspector Ebenezer Teo Kufu told the court presided over by Madame Amadou Macron that the Attorney General's advice was ready and per the advice dated March 2, 2021, Mr. Pomboy Jabedun Kansa should not be charged. However, a third suspect, 25-year-old Mr. Beniza Kweti, alias Junior, should be charged with abetment of crime to wit murder. In the case of Mr. Kweti, the court adjourned the matter to April 17, 2021, by which time it hopes the bill of indictment will be ready. The police had held two suspects, namely Ebenezer Kwesi and Opamboy Jabedun Kansa, for the involvement in the following the death of the main suspect, Mr. James Nanawumba, in police custody, who was a domestic staff of the late Professor Bene. The prosecution told the court that Madame Akosia Bene Kufu, the complainant, is the niece of the late Professor Bene, whilst Mr. James Nanawomba, the prime suspect now deceased, was a cleaner in the deceased house at Ajuri Gano in East Legon. Mr. Womba's accomplices, Mr. Pambuja Jabedun Kansa, was unemployed and lives at Asham in Accra, while Mr. Beniza Kwesi, a Mason apprentice, also resides at Kaswa. Prosecution said, on September 12, 2020, the late Professor Bene was found lying dead in a pool of blood in a corridor leading to his bedroom. The prosecution said examination of the body of the victim revealed multiple marks of assault on the face with a cloth partly inserted in his mouth. Inspector Tei Okufu said on September 21, 2020, a post-mortem examination conducted on the disease showed the cause of death as asphyxiation, strangulation, and suspected homicide. He said on September 13, 2020, the late Mr. James Nanawomba was arrested for investigation. The prosecution said results from the fingerprints captured at the crime scene were identical to that of Womba. According to prosecution, the late Womba confessed to the crime during investigations and mentioned Nkansa and Kwesi as his accomplices who were later arrested. Inspector Teo Kufu informed the court that investigations revealed that in August 2020, Womba contacted Opambo and plotted to murder the victim in his house. So Mr. Womba assigned Mr. Opambo to recruit a gang to carry out the plan. He said two weeks later, the late Womba had a change of mind and contacted Kwesi to assist him execute the plan. The prosecution told the court that the two discussed in detail how the plan was going to be carried through and on September 10, 2020, the accused persons allegedly went to the victim's house and executed their plan. He said the accused in their caution statement narrated how each of them conspired with Womba to kill the victim.